Welcome back everyone to Kaiser Redux, I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, in which we are playing as everyone's favorite utopian technet of America, led by Harold Lowe, but right now, honoring the giants who came before. Today we honor the great giants of American utopianism and aesthetic socialism, great heroes of these ideas such as Henry David Thoreau, Edward Bellamy, Edward Philip Lovecraft, Robert Owen, Norman Lerman, Frank Stevens, Henry Paul Blount, Willow Price, Louis Pyle, Thomas Hughes, M Mania Bacal, and Moses Herder. Edward Brian Payne, George H. Allen, B.F. O'Dell, Oliver A. Verde, Etienne Cabet, uh, Victor P. Considerant, Olsen S. Murray, and so many more. Mold of the very foundation we now stand upon, of course. And we shall be honored across the nation with art, uh, statues, public installations, and other things dedicated in their likeness and honor. New copies and collections shall be created in their name, and new Judy Utopian. Uh, community shall be founded using their ideas, further freeing the American proletariat on their shoulders. We build paradise from the lofty high. We push for true utopia by their ideas, and under the guidance of love and his allies, we shall prosper like never before. America has long been the home of the Ameri Ar Arcadian utopian ideal, and we shall finally prove that it truly can happen here. On the shoulders, we're closer to, to the way it will be. Cool. As we are, of course, improving our popularity of radical socialism because there's only five percent, so we're not getting that much political power, which really sucks. But that's okay. We'll get there eventually. But we do need to reunite with Alaska, even though we do have you know Alaska and Baja, Mexico. Uh, Estado Máximo de México? Well, one of Maximo. El Jefe Máximo, which I have actually played before. You don't play as Mexico, but we've done that before. But I read this one last time. If you want to read this again, please go right ahead. It's really good for consumer goods and whatnot. And of course, I read this one as well. But we do have some comments to go through too. But I kind of want to start reading about. Ooh, Great Faction Harmonious Compact for Utopia. Purify this group. We need more political power. Um. We're going to go through a music tour? I've read this one before, so if you don't need this, please go ahead. Roll the union on. A new financial system for the new age. Oh, yes, please. Oh, but, ooh, resources to market minus 50%. Mmm. And consumer goods gets pretty hard, too, but... There is one, Joel. Well, the Jewish economic system of America has always been the predatory beast of capitalism, and even following the mighty Second American Revolution. The monetary system the sickening ideology still perverts our proletariat. A new financial monetary system shall be created, adapted from Scott's idea of energy economics. We'll build an economy that's truly free from predatory capitalism uh, and the wider global economy, creating your own free and sovereign financial system for the benefit of all Americans. You don't need a global system when everything is under your control, right? Happy 1940, though. It's almost 1941, of course. Uh, so after this stuff is done, research speed. We'll get some nuclear research. But some comments include such. It says... And now that the has been updated uh, uh, by Blood Alone, you should play their Howard Scott Rock for more variety in this person's opinion. Eh, maybe we will eventually. Let's get this one done first, too. As, are we just flying on Mexico still? I forget, no. Oh, man. Oh, claim state. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. The new art capital in the, the West. Consumer goods are looking okay. Not bad. Republican series declared one of them. So the comments included, so it would be seeing Howard Scott's playthrough, because that was the other choice we could get instead of Loeb. Um, it's also possible, so we could probably do that, and I could probably mess up the world even more to get him. So it says, time for a global technate shenanigans. Someone else says, I vote to play as Howard Scott as well. Someone says, are you going to reload and get Loeb back? Yes. First World Science Fiction Convention. Today in New York City, the first ever World Science uh, Fiction was convened, gathering literary minds in science fiction to discuss and talk about the genre of science fiction, of course. And such people such as John W. Campbell, Isaac Asimov, Ray Bradbury, Donald A. Wolheim, Frederick Paul, John Michael, D Robert A. W. Loudness, and Jack Gillespie. Well, it had a modest size of 200 participants. It will still consider a success with the second one planned next year. They're awarded tomorrow. Cool. Ah, more divisions? Yes, please. Oh, really? Oh, all right, guys. I don't really want to invest too much into Smedley, but because if I remember, he always retires eventually. Or he leaves, or something like that. So, don't invest too much into him. Um, Canon, not enough there, but. Someone says, first, Lovecraft, now, Love Stone. Who's next? Love, Mr. Mocha Lover? Stay tuned, tuned, and find out. Someone says, well, crap, I wasn't expecting Lovecraft. Someone says, can you do LBJ TNO again, please? Well, probably, yeah. So it says, do more second Sengoku? I've not played that in a while. It's a little weird mod, but yeah, I could try it sometime. Um, you guys come over there, too. You guys, uh, go and And someone else says, uh, well, the, what the heck is that? Uh, nation sounds kind of cool, to be honest. Yeah, or does. All on, all new, or good, or gogsen, Mongol is. Please don't hate me for trying to figure out how to pronounce that. Social liberals, huh? Uh, uh, perfect and purify the democratic system. Or we're going to talk about Indian Revolution Committee. 
Um, if you want to be this, please go ahead. I've read this before too. Democracy is a beautiful thing. Uh, when perfected, it gives power to the voice of every single citizen, even the smallest, most downtrodden. It can also fall prey to corruption quite easily, however, and this is a weakness we must remain ever vigilant of. As such, we should create a truly direct democracy in America, where every citizen gets one vote on all major elections and referendums, effectively running the will of the technocratic, ca technocratic council. However, Loeb and his higher cabinet shall maintain the executive veto, should things go awry, in order to protect and safeguard democracy from reaction and infiltration. Which would be a good thing to do. Liberate the masses from ca uh, capitalist exploitation. That's six cities. Or no, five, five cities. I can't read. Elevate the New Deal. Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? The popular and populist ideals of the New Deal, envisioned by Ted Roosevelt and his Square Deal, among the uh, with Fiora de la Guardia, and others, have been the new standard, new standard for non revolutionary American leftists for decades now. However, despite the good ideas, these movements do not go far enough to save the American people from all that ails them. Let's take the ideas of the New Deal and the Square Deal, elevate them and evolve them, and ensure that their benefits bless every single soul in this nation. By liberating the masses, we shall free ourselves to be able to launch into the future of true prosperity and egalitarian progress under Loeb's ideal vision of utopian technocracy. Also, instead of some coffee here, we do have a spot of... Uh, oh, I need more rubber. No, actually, we're okay with rubber for now. We're going to need more rubber no matter what. Um, double chai uh, spice latte. No, double chai spice tea. Black tea. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we got here. We need more stuff here. There you go. Good luck with that. Alright, so what else do we have here? Anything else? We create intelligence? Okay, why not? So let's strike in the Black Legion, why not? We're going to do some of that too. That'd be nice. Are we still putting down resistance? Oh, oh my god, yeah. Happy February, everybody. February, February, February. Ooh, a battleship. Gosh. So we'll go and take out Mexico. And we'll probably keep going through the Americas the best we can. Um, I really don't want to invade the old, the old world. Oh boy. Wow. Oh, Yantan's very Spanish now. Oh. Any impact? Hold on. Oh, I might need to go to World Japan. Mm -hmm. The Reich's. Or we go to war, maybe with these guys, the Reich's Pack. Maybe we go to war with the Antan. Get all the three. We'll probably go to war with the Reich's Pack. Kill all these guys off down here as best we can. And then invade maybe Liberia, maybe. Maybe it might make it easier for us. You know, you never know. Elevate the new deal. Elevate the masses from uh, capitalist exploitation. With the new monetary system and economic developments, we can finally fully remove capitalism from the idea of Americanism. All concepts of buying and selling, wages for time work, and other aspects of capitalist oppression shall be erased, and instead, a truly socialist command economy fused with utopian communalism and energy credit finances, and dictated and directed by the Technocratic Council in accordance with the American people, shall rise. The chains of America's foul past shall be wiped away, cleansing the state, and freeing the people from the bonds of servitude forevermore. Travel in America. With the revolution over and the reconstruction underway, debate over the future of uh, future travels come up. Automotive unions believe the cars will be the perfect vehicle for the new America, a symbol of the freedom that all Americans fought for, but trade unions contest the claim and believe that America should invest in trains as a way to help connect all town cities who shall Congress uh, support. Train unions. I always do the automotive unions. I should probably do the train unions sometime, too. Give them a little bit of love. All right, so, okay. We definitely need way more millies, too. Way more millies. We'll get there in just a little bit, too. I'm not super concerned. Do anything else here? I mean, we need to go to past partial mobilization, too, but that's kind of fine with for now. Um, energy accounting. It's not bad. I got plenty of fuel, too. Oh, Welsh Union is gone. Oh, boy. So, where are we at? Oh, we're almost there. About a few more weeks. No, oh, we'll be ready to invade. Under technocracy. And this new America being forged by President Loeb and his allies, of course. Oh, look at this. Wait. I click on all this. George Lincoln Rockwell is dead. Lindenberg redeemed. Well then, um, and his allies, democracy still rings true and free, but in an altered fashion. Government administrations all across the nation, from the t smallest town and county governments to the federal government itself, have been reforged into their own democratically elected technocratic councils. Local officials are directly nominated and voted on by individuals of that town or county. State councils are staffed by statewide elections at the end of every term. And the two chambers of Congress, the House and the Senate, have been replaced by two large councils, one of STEM experts and one more of the creative types. They serve as a guiding force and rotating legislature of the nation under the executive council made up of the president and the cabinet. The notion of a career politician is dead. For council members, they can only serve two terms, and are selected by their peers without the ability to make a career out of it, ensuring that serving as a representative is a service for your fellow man and not a pathway to corruption and self-enrichment. This camp has been a success, and technocratic utopian democracy has been perfected, and America is now guided by an ever-rotating and directly democratic hierarchy of experts and visionaries, ensuring that her pathway along the gold-gilded road to utopia is smooth, fair, and egalitarian, all the while being free of the corrupting forces and vices that tore down the former America that it gave before us. Let freedom ring as we blow up Mexico. Gosh. Oh. Probably won't stop doing that. 
should probably do okay there no matter what. So you guys are that. Just gonna hang it out, that's fine with me. Now I had to start just fighting in Costa Rica, but it's gonna take forever to go to war with them for some stupid reason, so kinda sucks a lot. Fate of the social patriots, during the short lived uh Burnham and Lovestone administrations, political opponents that resisted their policies began to feel the vast grip of totalitarian violence, but their ascendancy of technocracy has saved the bulk of the nation's political elite. The survivors, survivors now work through the new technocratic councils across the nation, with many of them being former within the technocratic congress's two houses, or within the court system, or other lower offices as elected by the people, if deemed expert enough. However, one group, the Social Patriots, have put an emphasis on cooperation with their movement, led by Norman Thomas, Meyer Lennon, John Lewis, David Dubinsky, William Green, George Meany, Matthew Wall, Philip Murray, and others, the Social Patriots, two factions work together to pursue American-style socialist democracy and bellamy inspired realistic utopianism, and many of their ideas mesh well within our own. We can integrate the social patriots fully into our movement, uh, and together pursue a more purified form of socialist democracy under utopian democracy, or uto technocracy, or we can pursue our own utopian dream alone. What shall we do? Strike the Legion. That's right. Let's join the coalition. Ensure American democracy is maintained. Social democracy. Federalist faction becomes ruling party. Becomes a ruling party? Oh. We shall pursue our utopian vision alone and unaltered. Nice. Dead left out with political power. You see the ball. Oh, you're gonna be down here anyways. Thank you. Mm, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Ah. Can't say non aggression pack. Well, I don't think they have time to really go to war with us, but whatever. Liberate them from capital suppression. Evolve technocracy through reform. That's cool. Let's totalism. Elevate the new deal, my friends. A chart. Of plenty for all. We could really use more stability, could we? A chart of plenty is written by Lowe for all Americans to bask him. The state must provide for all of its citizens, all without restitution or repayment. Supported by taxes and energy credits alone, all citizens will be provided a bare minimum of living quarters or home within the cities or communal foods or rural communes. Food, water, medical care, electricity, transportation, and a job among the other basic amenities, needs, and basic luxuries. This shall ensure that every member of society is not only taken care of, but also a productive and contributing member of society, working in tandem with all other Americans across the nation to create our utopia. Oh, what's this? Ensure a flourishing paradise in technocratic hands. Now that we've made all these paradises, it's paramount that we deliver upon them. All the society is in our hands, and all society needs us to guide the way to true paradise. A civil service structure will need to be created and refined to perfection in order to run this behemoth of a society. And a scaled and large bureaucracy will need to be trained extensively in order to maintain order, peace, and progress. All be organized and dictated, and all shall run slick and smooth like a well-oiled machine. With the engines of progress works perfectly for thee, and with it we drive towards utopia. Cool. Very good. Wow, we are just rampaging through Mexico very fast. Faster than I ever imagined we ever run through them. A little bit of air spirit order, because we don't have that many planes ourselves, which sucks, but still. There you go. Ah, oh, there, cut it off. Good. Looking for Army XP, we're looking pretty good. Naval XP, we're looking pretty decent as well. Um, yeah, I'll just like repair and refit speed. I always do positioning too, so that's pretty good. Alka Palka. And goodbye, enemy tanks. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Ah, Mexico. Oh, we got both of them, nice. Not bad. Uh, we don't need that many divisions down here, but uh, that's okay. Elevate the New Deal. Of course we will. Of course. Oh, Columbia's down here too, eh? Interesting. Well, we we'll definitely want to make our way down there as well, so... A chart of plenty for all. Oh, it's going to kill everything we have here. Uh, military occupation, of course. Like normal. And sure, our flourishing paradise and technocratic hands. There is one. Yeah, I did. Evolved technocracy through reform. We cannot fall victim to the violent and destructive revolutionary tendencies that caused the last civil war and tore this nation asunder. For a culture and our people didn't nearly survive it. We must evolve technocracy in American society as a whole, without bl shedding blood or causing wanton destruction and disruption of everyday life. But that would make us no better than the tyrants we have sought out and preached to destroy it, to, to be better men. Through reform and peaceful evolution, we shall make a better America better than ever before. The Yellow Brick Road to Utopia. Ooh. 
Under love's guidance, we follow the golden path, paved path of utopian idealism, the Amer Acadian ideal, and the perfected Americanism under an egalitarian and aesthetic revolutionary democracy. Along this Yellowbrick Road, we skip along to our, on our journey to an emerald and chrome city upon the hill, a paradise unlike any other form fit for our needs and fully in tune with the desires of our people, as dictated by a direct democracy. We shall travel down this path with Loeb and his allies as our guide for utopia calls, and of course we will answer with full production without war. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Nice. Uh, war, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Who needs war to justify massive industrial expansion with the needs and the desires of peaceful masses is all the justification you need. We shall expand the industrial base of America like never before in order to create the paradise we have promised for our people, and for that is what true progress demands, as we are still going to go to war. Religion, education, and amusement. Not only will the concept of property and the incentive be effort, of effort be different in technocracy, but religion, education, amusement, art, sport, culture, and every other human institution and expression would undergo transformations more or less radical. In his own words, Loeb, predicted the social upheaval and metamorphosis that would come with the extension of technocracy and the escape. But now we do not have to wonder what forms such expressions will assume. We have the means to be able to mold society to see how we fit, or see how, how we see fit. And we see it fit to let it evolve on its own like it was in its own living and breathing organism, undergoing mutation and transformation in accordance with the stimuli placed upon it by the needs, whims, and actions of the masses. The mysticism of money has been, of course, uprooted. <clears throat> and America is not free of their economic bondage uh, to be able to devote their lives to their causes, and while other revolutions ex have expended great effort and resources trying to dictate the lives of their new masses, we shall let them live free as they choose to be, so long as they do not infringe upon the same rights all of us now share. Let's let let them pray. If they want a prayer, let them cast off religion if that's what they so choose to do. Let them create and teach and theorize. Let them continue to evolve free of their former slavery. Our movement does not seek to dominate and dictate, but to free and to guide. We give our populace the tools to make of their own amusement, and now they are free to do so, finally. Let humanity be free of the confines that have always bound them, and let them create utopia. What wondrous forms humanity's resolve might forge. The way it was. The way it was, back before the revolution, America was on a collision course with total annihilation, and in many ways that annihilation did come. The common people choked under the heel of the leap, and the rich dominated the poor to fulfill their own base desires. This past heck has been eradicated, brought to slaughter by the Ameri Second American Civil War, and rightfully butchered and sold off by our predecessors, the combined syndicates. The success of this revolution, followed by our own victory over the authoritarian socialism and faux leftism, finally cast away this foul past life, creating a new and free American, a fiery birth following a peace by a peaceful wave of utopian metamorphosis. The way it was is no longer and can no longer be, and soon life and technocracy, what it might be, sh shall soon be witnessed by all. So local manpower, mobilization speed, division training time, recruitable population factor, surrender limit, offensive war penalty, stability modifier, not bad. Um, yeah, grab more fuel. Because we can. We don't need it, but we, but because we can. That's literally the only reason why. Very nice. So we got the Marines here. We want to throw someone over here. Does anyone have Marines? No? Well, we'll shove them over there. So yeah. Train your butts off. Uh, get some cruisers. Get some cruisers. Chromium, Quebec. Sure, why not? So I'm striking Black Legion cells. So waiting to take out Costa Rica. And what it'll be like. We no longer need to wonder what it might be like, for Love has shown us what it is and will be. Utopian technocracy has created what it promised for paradise and progress, but constructed by the technocratic councils, guided by Love and the CCOT. Based upon the ideas of Thoreau, Owen, Bellamy, Thurman, and more, American utopianism and technocratic democracies free the American people from the predation of capitalism and reactionary thought. Though we still have much work to do, our paradise is still underway, so let's bask in the life of technocracy, for what it'll be like is looking better than ever before. So I'm thinking right now. You know, we don't want war, but we're still going to take out Costa Rica. What if we ended this camp, this part of the campaign, like, right now? Uh, well, once we're done with this focus. And then, uh, if you want to buy this, please go ahead. Her make, work makes us all proud. Very cool. Um, and then we'll go and try to do uh, his route, too, in the next episode. Howard Scott's low. Or M. King Hubert's currently country leader. So, because it seems like they go, go a little crazy. They get another research slot. A continent of Technic. That's really cool. And a dream for me. We have to own Mexico, Guatemala, and uh, a lot of uh, other states. Which sounds like we're going to go back to war, which I currently, of course, love to do in a war game such as Hoi 4. So, uh, where are we at? Costa Rica? How many more days? Costa Rica, you take too long to justify on it, I swear. We have a whole 10 days left to Reno. Not bad. Not bad overall. I'm feeling we'll probably do okay against them, especially with level 5 radar. I think we'll do okay. Uh, fighters, we never have enough planes. I never build enough planes. That's a problem of mine. Never have enough. Oh, shippies. Oh, very nice. Go and do that. Go and do that too. If you like an upgrade, uh, Lone Wolf is not bad, but Consumer Expert is pretty good too. And finally, I don't know why it took so long to justify on them, but whatever. We're not going to go to war with them probably, anyways, but whatever. To Costa Rica, my friends.
Actually, we need a couple of people from at least one person from Costa Rica. Technocracy achieved, huh? San Jose, thank you. Alajuela, Ajuela. Nice. Huh. And do we get to eat them? Oh, I love eating other people. I mean, uh, um, um, countries, countries. That's what I mean. Looking pretty good, you open technate of America. Ah, technocracy achieved and escape. As our policies of utopian technocracy and democratic councilism are phased into our new holdings, Director-in-Chief Harold Loeb now looks out across all of North America, a land of his own creation, now being molded into the vision he has held on for so, to for so long. From the peaks of Columbia to the icy caps of Canada's Arctic zones, our technique expressed across the vast continent, bringing the true revolution in utopian socialism to all under the monad of technocracy. However, some have asked, why stop here? With our efficient, prosperous, and egalitarian system working so perfectly, why should we not spread our true vision of the revolution of humanity's rational salvation to all on this earth? Never specifically an internationalist, love is a toy with the idea of establishing other techniques across the globe modeled on our system. It was a consolidate the world and free from all parts, free all from partisanship and factionalism as we've all progressed together towards true societal perfection. What should we do? So you're working perfecting the North American technique. To arms? Oh. Um. Oh. The entire world must be united in our technocratic experiment across the globe. Wait. We have known utopian technique of Gaia. World tension increased by a hundred. Every country gained annex world against Don Kaban Union. Every state is now a core of the utopian technique of America. Like minded technates across the globe. Uh, okay, maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just continue and. Oh, we slightly changed that. Uh, we're definitely radical socialists. I thought we wanted to be. Okay. Escape and hard lobes seminal work. Now regarded as a manifesto and called to action by millions of loyal Americans to have a life of technocracy. What it might be like. Row of lights of, of wall. He calls the escape, or humanity's escape from the chains and confines of its archaic imprisonment, called the blind alley. As accelerated towards technocratic utopia, the success of a movement may have been going to view the fires and horrors of the Second American Civil War and a following rise of power, or the tyrant Burnham and Lovestone as his very escape. For under Love's guidance, we are now on the fast track to egalitarian paradise. The entire majority of the mass, this has gone to prove that Loeb, having weighed the CCOT as sound leaders and visionaries, boosting our support and public opinion ratings across the nation. However, more diehard and zealous loyalists of Loeb have begun to regard him as a prophet and herald. Though Loeb has pushed back against his ideas, both secular and spiritual cults of personality have begun to pop up in aesthetically charged cities and urban centers across America in small pockets of diehard fanatics. But they number far too little numbers to be of any real effect. Regardless, Loeb's popularity continues to skyrocket nationwide, so let's continue to ride the wave towards Utopia. What it might be like is no longer a question. What it will be like is known. Uh, so, do we just, uh, so what goes on? Go to war with every, shh, Nikes. Oh, that's the case. Well, we just go to war then. Embargo by a lot of people, huh? Cool. Well, I need way more planes. Where we're headed. We're gonna need a lot more planes. Improved carriers, huh? Um, do we have anything good here? You know what? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe we'll continue this campaign and try to take out everywhere in the world. As best we can. Get your space. There you go. Mechanize, yeah, good deal. Go, my boys, go! If that's the case. Cuba. You already are in the Reich's Pact. We can start blowing up the ships right now. Go through here. Or maybe we could wait. Go to war with the Entente instead. Or maybe just wait and go all the way through the Andean Pact first. Go through all of these nations first. Go through Bolivia. Get a bigger border of the Reich's Pact. Fight through here. Then go to war with the Entente. That might be better to do. All these guys are in different alliances. God dang it. I hate that so much. Bruh. Sure, why not? They don't like us. Why, why don't they like us? Yeah, criminals. They all are. Embargo by the Ottoman Empire. So be it. You're going to need a lot of planes. Lots and lots of planes, which is why we're probably going to struggle later on. Yep, exactly. We should build a little faster too. That'd be really nice. Oh boy, we're gonna struggle here like what? Begin reconstruction of the big sh sh shell meal versus Papa Hemi. 
Long working and together as contemporaries, fellow utopian socialist artists, political partners, and creative visionaries, Howard Love and Ernest Hemingway are two halves of the same coin, and Papa Hemming has served as the big Schmiel's vice president since it arrived. The big Schmiel Loeb and his friend and papa rival Papa Hemming have been close friends for years and have butt heads for just as long, with these debates now turning to the political. As Loeb sort of serves as a diehard ideologue between them, chafing against a aloof gruffness, detached paternalism, and utopian socialist idealism of Hemingway, however. Unlike ever before, these two have become blows yet again, and the fate of the CCOT now hangs in the balance. Hemingway, or Hemi, resists Loeb's rapid approach to utopian reform and seeks to further Loeb's ideas in a more passive sense while taking a back seat to rulership himself to further delve into his own artistic and hedonistic pursuits, shifting more and more rule to the technocratic congress and instead while it remains the face of the movement and while Loeb continues to run many things from the shadows. Resisting this, Loeb pushes back to maintain the course he has fought so hard to set in order to save his own vision of peaceful utopianism. Who shall prevail? Big Shmuel? Papa Hemi takes his powers. Oh, we can have him do famed author. That'd be cool. So he seems to stop factionalism. Big Shmuel. Yeah, if you wonder about that, please go ahead again. Redistribute wealth. We can no longer tolerate a social order where men do who do absolutely nothing useful can amass millions of dollars, while millions of proletarians work all day of all their lives, secure barely enough to, uh, to prolong a wretched existence. Then end of the banks, corporations, and hoarders is finally here as we dip into the wealth reserves of our enemies and redistribute them to the population. Yes, please. 100%. Oh, yes, yes, they all want to end up. Stop us from doing stuff, whatever. Deal with the feds. This since the revolution broke out, we've accumulated an extensive list of political prisoners who are just awaiting trial. Now that the war is over, the time to judge these men have finally come. Although some amongst our leadership believe in rehabilitating these captives, others, more radical comrades, are eagerly calling for extreme revolutionary justice. And justice is what we will and shall have. Um, do that too. And I know the roads suck. The supply is god awful down here. Jesus Christ, please fix your goddamn roads. Or fix, ha just have roads. Looks like we got a lot of organization there, but that's alright. Do the best you can. Board divisions is good enough. Not even more than that. We might get some tanks eventually too, but we'll see. Get rid of the Black Legion. Um, social revolution. Women's liberation. Just five world goals times. Does anything really change manpower? Stability. I honestly prefer the stability than manpower right now. Women's liberation. With the men dying in the front lines, it's for the women to run the factories. Oh crap, my apologies about this. Uh. Uh, uh, build, run the factories, build the munitions, and feed a revolution. That's to say nothing about the many nurses, pilots, and female Red Guard members who gave their all. Their sacrifices and struggles will not have not been in vain. Redistribute that their wealth. No, I guess you feel better you want. There we go. Be happy, y'all. Right there, do that too. Um, I do want to invade them, but at the same time... So they're by themselves in Peru and Ecuador. Once we get down there, we'll start invading probably too. Jesus Christ, it's so bad down here. New legal equality. Radical liberation. I like both. A girl. Foolish in vain is a working man who makes the color of his skin the stepping stone to his imaginary superiority. Will the of all colors and creed fought and blood to build our new America. The loyal immigrants should also be afforded natural born citizenship in the spirit of emancipation. Now we got here, that's fine. Just gotta get Europe. From government China, eh? Ukraine, whatever. Go ahead and do the best you can. I don't expect perfection. Just be perfect. Revolutionary education, huh? Um, academia has been the nurturing mother of many revolutionaries, but the education system itself is still inherently reactionary. In all of America's history, it was built to produce more opinion workers and more capitalists and hardest politicians. That's going to end now. Get another research slot. That'd be awesome. Five. We might be able to go to seven eventually. Um, let's get one, two. 
Food buy tanks are okay. I could use more tanks in general, too. Women's Lib. Deal with the feds. Embargo by the Portuguese Empire. Alright, that's alright with me. Whatever. Gotta keep a few more ships. Oh, hey, Ecuador's kind of nice. Thank you very much. We'll take your ship easy. Even though they really probably suck. Bonafide Discovery. If you're that, please go right ahead. Nice. Screens. Okay. Lots of destroyers, huh? Start forming a new group here, too. Oh, what else do we have? Oh, all stuff down here I forgot about, huh? Gun stuff, soft attack, plane stuff. It's only 42. Uh, tanks. Yeah, I could probably see focus on tanks. Um, speed, armor, breakthrough, or soft attack for breakthrough, reliability. Well, uh, heavy tank manufacturer. I'm going to go with white motor. Yeah, let's go with white motor for now. Do them fed, boys. Transformative justice. Although we're firmly dealt with the old American elite, there's still a sizable popular movement opposing a new regime. We need to pass any remaining counter revolutionary cells and make sure to track down every last infiltrator in our midst before we can finally be sure we've won. Deal with the ODP. The ODP's foul crew of reactionary demagogues and national tyrannical generals will finally be sent on trial. Although Murray himself has escaped capture, or eagerly dish out a fair punishment to everyone who collaborated with him. As we should. I don't want to forget about guns. I love guns. American, you gotta, you gotta love guns. Trial of the federal government. Um, well, the revolution over, of course, right now. And uh, now comes time to deal with those who fought against us. The charges against Douglas MacArthur and the many other former civil, uh, or more for federalist politicians that are of seizing the government, so suspending civil rights in defense of conservative Democrats. Uh, Henry Morgenthau Jr. has cited or appeared in uh, MacArthur's stead due to his recent exile. Representing the business and social interests of the old regime, Morgenthau has stated that it was only under MacArthur that the mob violence against Jews committed by the ODP was halted. Testimony of MacArthur's reluctance to accept extra legal power and its personal accounts of admiring socialist James Coxey has swayed some. Ultimately, the jurors decided to pardon the federal leaders. Convict the federal leaders. Oh, he's more radical socialism. Seize and arrest all regime supporters. Let's convict them. Small events there. Oh boy. Oh boy, we gotta do it too now. Crap. Oh yeah, see what you can do. It's about this. As we're going, look at planes. I love planes. Um, two engines times three is pretty good. These are going to be fighters. Air to air radar. Air to air radar two. We got a lot of options here. Cannons, cannons. Two one cannons or two two cannons. Twenty sixty nine versus twenty eight sixty nine. Nineteen thirty six. I like to give them two at a time. Four heavy machine guns. Four heavy machine guns. There we go. Nice. Uh, where's the carrier ones? Carrier close air support. Uh, oh, it's down here. Proof carrier airframes one. There you go. Um, I'm gonna do more of that off screen probably, but you know what? We'll see once we get the deal with the ODP probably as well. Defense turrets, defense cannon turrets, heavy MG turrets. Gonna slow us down, but these are gonna be naval bombers too. Special modules, die breaks, sure. Tronics, uh, armor plates, wow. Floats would be nice. Self sealing tube tanks, huh? There you go. Three, just straight fighters. Okay, I said I was going to do this off screen, but I guess not. Nice. 
Nice. Doing, seems like we're doing well against these guys. Not bad. Improved naval bombers. No, we're good. Naval bombers too as well. Electronics. Bomb sites too. Nah. Air to ground radar too. Heavy cannon defense. Small modules. Dive bombings. Floats. Advanced naval bombers, eh? Yes, please. Uh, group close air support. And now, time for the casts. Dive brakes are nice. A small bomb bay. Get all the way down through here and get all that stuff done and do the ODP, of course. That'd be nice. Nine forty two, get some more anti air. And improve the arty. I think a good goal, I guess, would be to take out. Oh, I guess we take as many people as we can, but still. I guess you get an event as well. Oh, try the old Democratic Party. The revolution now over. Uh, now comes the time to do with those that fought against us. The ODP has been the greatest ally of reaction and anti socialism for years now. And they must finally pay for the crimes against people. Some of the jury being swayed, but the final decision arrest, uh, to, is to imprison them, execute ODP leaders, seize the rest of them. Uh, go ahead and execute them. I still want more radical socialism. We love radical socialism. Come spy master. Yes, please. Russian boots, Mars Western. Oh. Okay then. No, that's not our prerogative right now. I don't know, Russia. Russian Republic. Might do okay, they might not. We'll see, I guess, technically. They don't even have the East under their control yet either. Go prosperity sphere. They only have one front too, but that's a lot of land to focus on. Wow, even Finland too. That's a strong rights rights pact. Oh, they went to. Oh, they're dead. Why would you do all that at the same time? You're like Germany and vanilla. Why would you like kill, try to kill everyone? You're gonna end up dying. You're gonna build that. Please go ahead. Ah, theme is our escape. Cusco. I'm gonna go to Bolivia next too. Are there any faction? No. Who's it? Part of the Third International. Oh, you. Wait, what? Are you still alive? Union of England? Wait, how did you survive? I don't understand. Okay then. Odd, but okay. Very weird, but okay. Now, in the meantime, go and grab some of this. Grab some of this, build up that infrastructure. Get a port down here too. That'd be nice. That'd be very good. Transformer of Justice. And what is next? Destroy Jim Crow. Reading yourself to the Southern Terrace will not be a so matter of military might. We need to uproot the bigotry and racism that's plaguing America for centuries and crush the clan fanatics. Let's make Lincoln proud, bring old Dixie down once for all. Road revolution. We should always invest in a new road system in this country. Creating a national highway system and hiring scores of workers to build it would help our economy immensely. Perhaps we'll be enough to propel us out of our economic troubles entirely, but time will tell. Yeah. Remove reconstruction, of course. That'd be good. Homes for the people. Landlords and real estate tycoons have been a plague upon this nation. Let us let the poor and starving from their slums now that the rich and mighty have been driven from their seats of power. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure we actually take out everybody in the world, but at least take out the Reichs Pact. That's our main goal. Get 1.45 every single day, that's pretty good. Too bad. So after this war, we go to war with Argentina and they get ready for Chile. Yeah, that would be bad to do. 
An equipa? Couple? We're gonna head down there already. We need a lot of planes for what we're about to do. About go by the fins, huh? I don't really care. I think most of the wood. What is gonna have that we are losing out on? Besides Finnish women. I don't know. Yeah. Radar. You know what? I never go with supply stuff, but I don't see any supply stuff here. Huh. The final construction speed, that'd be that's, that's really good. Efficiency gain. Well, then a public destroyed Jim Crow. 30%? Eh. Let's do that one, why not? Road of the Revolution. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. Brazil's gonna be a pain in the butt, though. Somalia, huh? Siad Bada seizes control, huh? That's cool. It's nice. Or maybe this will be the end of last episode. I don't know. We'll see what we do in the end. I maybe mean, we don't have to take out the Reich's back. We don't have to. Nice. It's extra long. Maybe we don't have to. A guy. I mean, we could if we really wanted to, but we don't have to. <clears throat> and give extra time to explore what other paths would be like in other campaigns went on. Yeah, maybe this will be the last one. There we go. Advance heavy hole. Any yeah, subs. Well, let's, let's get Argentina done first. I mean, I don't mind doing it, but like... I kind of want to see what Scott's like. Austria looking a bit weird. You should just annex Slovenia. This is weird too. Oh. Huh. Syria's looking a bit very weird. Africa's a mess. But when is Africa not a mess, you know? Ah, totalism. Not today, not tomorrow. Never again. Another one here. The road to revolution. Snorkels? Sure, why not? Legal quality. Reconstruction is over. The crimes of the goaded nation seem to have finally been washed away. Even took blood and fire to break the old system. We brought to birth a new world from the ashes of the old. A land of free, equal, and prosperous laborers. A new America. All the world that's owned by idle drones is ours and ours alone. We have laid the foundation, wide foundations, built skyward and stone by stone. It is ours not to slave in, but to master to own. For the union makes us strong. The rise of women only unions. Since the revolution, more and more women are entering into politics and technical fields. While in certain states, the transition of women's liberation has gone smoothly, in other places, waves impeded. A national policy on the number of women only units has quadrupled in the past year. When interviewed, these women only units claim persistent systematic discrimination in the field of science and civil service. In the aftermath of this release, the planned Women's Caucus was cancelled as the nation begins to debate the ethical application of women's liberation. Howard Love has settled the debate by decrying both women only unions and systematic discrimination, arguing that there are people who to blame on both sides for discrimination. The revolutionary man and women are equals now. We tell me we can't get a war economy by doing this. What? What's wrong with you? Losses. Oh, I've lost quite a few actually. 43,000, 44,000. Of course, fighting down here is not uh, the most peculiar, fun thing to do, probably. How much manpower do they have? I'm sure they have at least a good amount. Well, Petrograd, yeah. Russia's falling apart. Pretty normal. Mm. What's some air bases? We could use them. Okay, so you guys are just not ready to fight at all. It's like. Uh, fighting over river sucks and whatnot, but still.
New legal equality is nice. Revolutionary education. Oh yeah, political aftermath is not bad. Economic aftermath is way better than what it used to be. Wow, look at all that stuff we're building. Love it. Better guns. Some more air bases, hopefully. Black Legion in retreat. If you remember that, please go ahead. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Well, we could try it. If I had enough command power, I'd probably force the attack, but we don't. How are you losing? Lost quite a few guys, but I lost way more than us now, which is good to see. Five seven thousand manpower left. It's gonna drop, hopefully, horrendously for them. These ends going to be gone. That's nice. That's good. Maybe that too. Better torpedoes. At this point, they should be out of manpower. Oh, they raised the conscription level, so they're not. Sucks. Let's go with that one. Fall of Moscow? Yeah, I mean, the Russians are pretty much dead at this point. Well, that's pretty normal. Pretty flipping normal. One v one, you should be able to win here. Santiago de Astero. Nice. Good, good, good. So we've lost 85,000 versus 171,000. That's a lot of guys. Uh, that is a lot of guys. Um, heroism. We're only in bunch. Oh, that's pretty decent. 2.3 million manpower. We're still mobilizing more. It's pretty good. Peace conference. Oh, is it no, no? Oh, it's just Serbia. Oh, wait, they're fighting each other too? Huh. Vilni oh! They're really peace out already? Why would you do that? You have them on the ro Oh, what is this? Oh, that is so weird! Ireland and the Union of England are in a, the in a third international together, but Wales and Scotland are in the Reich's Pact. God, that's weird. You guys gave up on the war. You should not have given up on the war. That would have been so easy to win. You're not. What the heck happened down here? Holy crap. Roger Thor is looking pretty good, though. Uh, level 7, not bad. I apologize that this is taking so long, you know. Losses. Fighting. I've never fought the north of Argentina before. You should go through it straight through them. Revolutionary training, huh? New socialist hierarchy. Uh, not bad. That's pretty good for them. Militarized labor. Max attrition plus 20%. Wow. Foot soldiers of the revolution is pretty decent, too. Anything else that helps them out immensely? Yeah, that's pretty good, too. Construction's over. Nice. Group like battery. Okay, I remember Michio Akane, remember that was good head. Oh, and divisions is circled. Good. Thirty million left. We haven't even gotten to the end of the VPs. That's pretty bad. No manpower though. Equipment wise, we're not sure what they have though. Portable radios, blueprint stealing. Buenos Aires is some place we'd like to have.
It's gonna be a pain in the butt to take it, but that's pretty normal. Ah, is that for Brazil? I bet we're really gonna take him out. Ah, good. It's very good for supply too. Well, he's not really learning too much. He's really gonna become a hills fighter and a mountaineer and a ranger, but that's pretty good. Oh, you guys done moving or something? No? Yeah, you're gonna all die there. The construction's over. America's gonna be brand new. New America. So now they should be dead. And my apologies for taking so long with that, but. I think I'll end it here, and then to the next episode, or the next one, we can go ahead. We've got all the way down here. That's really nice. Um, do the other path and see what Howard Scott's like. But if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll also see another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.